Today's quick tip number two. Jobim's lesson that you can apply in your Brazilian way of playing piano. Let's talk a little bit about counter melodies. The music of Tom Jobim was very rich in terms of counter melodies. For example, uh, in the Samba do Avião or Jet Samba, uh, there is a, a little part uh, that he, he plays a, a very repetitive melody. And you can do, for example, uh, at the same time. here that's happening and create some interest for a melody that is very repetitive in the notes rests also you you can put some uh, for uh, counter uh, counter melodies that um, create some movements in the chords for example seventh chord all right this can be very interesting and sometimes for example we can play a, a, a minor chord with major seven going to the seventh so you are creating movements in the harmony to fill the space and sometimes to give more interest in the harmony that is an example that I showed so many times when connecting dominant chords that was very typical in the music of Tom Jobim. I always show this example and uh, this can be explored and Tom Jobim gave a lot of importance to, to the exec a good execution of his counter melodies and sometimes when he was comping and singing he sang the counter melodies. So pay attention in his music in this and try to apply in your Brazilian arrangements. This is gonna give much more life to the harmony and much more interest for the arrangement. So thanks for watching and if you wanna play the Brazilian piano in a more authentic way, I invite you to follow my channel in Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Bye bye.